What's up everybody, Jared here with carbuzz.com and today I am getting a very special opportunity to drive this. This is the Gunther Works Speedster. It is a custom remastered Porsche 911, similar to what you would get from Singer, but Gunther has their own uh, philosophy on what makes a 911 great. So they start with a 993 Cabrio and they turn it into this absolutely gorgeous Speedster. All of the body panels are actually completely custom. You can tell it has this absolutely glorious wide body kit. It just looks so great, but everything is actually made in house by Gunther Works in California. Even the lights you can see have a little GW in there. Those are custom as well. I asked Gunther Works what this paint was called. And while I don't know the actual name of this color, they let me know that every car they make is completely bespoke. So you can come to them and say, I want Gulf Blue from Porsche, but Gulf Blue just isn't bespoke enough. They'll ask you, do you want flake in it? Do you want some crazy metallic? Do you want diamonds mashed up into the paint? That's the level of bespokeness that we are talking about with a car like this. And the result is absolutely glorious. The founder of Gunther Works really loves Star Wars. He actually calls this taillight bar the lightsaber. I think that's a great name for it. And these exhaust tips down here, you can have them made of titanium or another really fancy uh, racing metal. I'm forgetting the name of it right now, but they're modeled after the tips of an X-wing fighter. So you can tell he really loves his Star Wars. I'm loving this uh, whale tail design here. I love a good whale tail. You can tell it's carbon fiber. Every body panel, except for the doors, is made from carbon fiber. The doors aren't carbon fiber just for tr crash structure purposes. And then underneath here, I can go ahead and reveal the engine. You just pull this little cable right here. We've got to reveal what's under here. It's a four liter. So it starts out in life as a 3.6 liter, naturally aspirated flat six, but it has been punched out by Roth Sport Racing. It's one of the only components in this car that isn't built in-house by Gunther, but the, but the results speak for themselves. 430 or a little over 430 horsepower. It's about 435 from a naturally aspirated flat six that revs to just under 8,000 RPM. We've got adaptive reservoir suspension. So you can see the reservoirs here in the engine bay. You've got your nice oil uh, cover here as well. One thing you'll also notice is that it's lined with leather. That's gonna help with sound deadening as well. It's actually kind of quiet when you're not on it, which is really nice. And then up here on the actual engine cover itself, of course it's made from carbon fiber, but just like a McLaren F1, you can see that it is lined with gold. Absolutely glorious. And then we get into the interior where again, pretty much everything is made in-house by Gunther. You can tell these seats are absolutely crazy. They're one piece carbon fiber. Gunther has no plans on making a two piece seat that reclines a little bit more because they are absolutely pathological about weight. This car weighs just over 2,500 pounds, but it has 430 horsepower. So it is a rocket ship. These seats honestly look like they belong in a Power Rangers Megazord. They are so great. You get your normal three point seat belt, but then you also have racing harnesses right behind it, which is great. I'm gonna go ahead and slide the seat up a little bit so I can show you the piece de resistance feature. You get a little button right here. And if I click that, you can actually open up these speedster humps and you get a little bit of storage in there, which is so cool. You can actually get a helmet that's gonna fit in there as well, which is super neat. Uh, it's a special Gunther Works helmet, which is super duper cool. And then as we step on the inside, you can see custom carbon fiber leather everywhere. We've got leather floor mats. We've got carbon fiber everywhere. You get a little phone holder, which is, which is nice here. This also isn't made in house by Gunther. You do get a head unit from Porsche. This is what they sell to people that have a 993 that want a little bit more tech in their car. Navigation, Bluetooth. We do have air conditioning as well. Gunther has kept the traditional five gauges, but you can make them anything you want. You can customize the color, the needles, the surrounds, all of that. We've got a Coors uh, clock over here, which is really nice. Very simple steering wheel with Alcantara, carbon fiber in the middle. The Gunther Works logo, some people wonder why it's an X. I was told the reason why is because when they started Gunther Works, everybody told them that they were doomed to fail. Eh, 
with a, with an X that they would never succeed. So they kept the X as a nod to all the people that told them that they couldn't build this car. We do have two buttons on here, one for the nose lift, very important, and one to put it in sport mode, which we'll experience out in the car a little bit later. And we do have a little bit of storage in here. You can put whatever you want in there. And we do have a decently sized glove box as well. So this isn't the least practical car ever. There is actually some storage in it, believe it or not. We do have milled aluminum remastered by Gunther Works written in here, little strap to get out of it. We do have custom speakers. These are actually made in-house as well. And then if I go ahead and pull, pull on that little strap here, we do have a front trunk. Gunther has not sacrificed that in the pursuit of speed. Not the biggest trunk ever, but you can fit an overnight bag here. Again, those reservoirs for the suspension, they just look so cool with more of that leather lining here. And then you can just see all of that beautiful carbon here as well. This is one of the most amazing Porsches that you can buy that's not actually a Porsche. Like honestly, I think I'd rather have this than something that Porsche actually builds themselves. Now these are already spoken for. You cannot buy one of these new anymore and they only made 25 examples. They were about $850,000, but one is about to sell at RM Sotheby's. They expect it to go for over a million and who wouldn't pay over a million for a beautiful creation like this? But I think, We've done enough looking at it. Let's take it out for a spin. It's so easy when you're flat. Like it's like, you know, it's like no problem. It's a little harder when you're like, it's easier when you're driving fast versus like when you're trying to like manage it, like in traffic, God, the brakes are, it, it reminds me a little bit of like a McLaren brake. Like it's that heavy, like you put a lot of firmness in it but yet like it's so direct and like really easy to modulate. Yeah, you wouldn't think that it's like this easy to drive. Like the pedals get a, take a little bit of getting used to just cause it's got, you know, kind of the floor hinged pedals or, you know, the, from the top for the clutch. Once you get used to that, you can get it rolling just pro like no problems at all. <laughs> it's so easy once once you're like okay i'm dedicated like i'm going full throttle it's easy and oh my god that sound it just picks up speed let's give it a downshift in the second <laughs> yeah once you're just flat like you're going flat from the clutch flat from the throttle oh my god you can shift it it almost feels like you're driving a dual clutch. Gunther Work says that they will never make an automatic. In fact, even an auto rev match downshift is a step too far for Gunther Works. That's how pure they want their products to be. One of the problems with having 295 section front tires is you do have a slightly smaller turning radius than you would otherwise get with a narrower tire, but that is a sacrifice that you must be willing to pay for this level of handling the valves open oh my gosh the vibrations of the engine but you don't feel it like it's not like through the wheel it's not like a hot rod where everything is like vibrating the car even though the whole thing is very stiff and everything's made of carbon i'm not getting buzzed and shaken around to my core in here the suspension is still really comfortable even though it's stiffer than what you get in the coupe it's still like a drivable car, 100%. Now I was gonna ask, yes. is there gonna be a comfort like seat option? Yes, so okay. they're gonna refer to that. I don't know what the technical nomenclature is gonna be, um, but yes, they will make a, a wider seat because- Like with a back adjustment and all that? Like, no, I think no. it's still gonna be a carbon back. Okay. Ultimately, lightness is something that they, they value highly, okay. right? I love a normally aspirated car because like a turbo car can just so easily break loose. And I'm curious to try the Gunther turbo car when that does come out. But just the fact that this is so approachable, the speed, like you could really, you feel naturally when it's gonna slip, even though it has no traction control, it has so much natural traction. Yeah, the brake pedal, it just, it's so, this is one of the, this might be the best brake pedal feel I've ever felt. It's got Brembo brakes. They just stop so hard, but the pedal feel, it almost feels like it's electrically assisted, but it feels like a manual pedal, but in a good way. Cause I've driven cars with manual brakes and it's like, this is great except for like when you're doing like, you know, 
serious, you know, breaking uh, thresholds. But this has the best of both worlds. It's crazy. Oh my God! You watch the the tachometer just bounce like this because it's revving so fast while you shift. It's unbelievable. So I'm in sport mode right now. If you just touch the throttle, ugh, like I'm not at high RPM, and this is just the throttle gets very twitchy. The the engine is very reactive. The only modern car that I've driven that's even close to that is the BMW M4 CSL. It was impossible to drive like in traffic in sport plus mode you had to just put it like back into comfort mode but this is on a different level from that this is but like but i am actually finding a way i've been in sport mode this whole time and we've been doing some stop and start and i'm not stalling i'm not other than like one occasion where the throttle got a little bouncy it's a little bit even more comfortable than the bmw is yeah i'm just impressed by how livable it is like yeah you wouldn't think that it's like this easy to drive I hope you've enjoyed this review of the Gunther Works Speedster. Unfortunately, if you're in the market to buy one, they are all sold out. Gunther Works only produced 25 examples of this car at about $850,000 a pop, and I'm sure they will actually command more than that on the secondhand market. If you are a big spender and willing to find one on the used market, I definitely recommend that you go for it. This is one of the best cars that I have ever driven, and I am so privileged that Gunther Works gave me the opportunity to drive one. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell to be alerted of our latest videos. I'll see you next time.